Freedom Radio Hour. Live on Capital Radio 91.6 FM. All right, all right, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Freedom Radio Hour. I'm your host, DJ Adam Cruz, and I have my fantastic co-host here. Eddie Nicholas, what up, beautiful people? Welcome to Capital Radio 91.6 FM, the heartbeat of Sedan. Mm-hmm. Um, we had a boom, 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 boom. prior conversation earlier. You were filling me in about Spotify yeah, and Sony. Yes. Let me tell you what's been going on. But first of all, let me give our listeners and our viewers a little taste of what's happening. Yes. Here at the Freedom Radio Hour, we not only give you wonderful music, but we try to give you great music business news and trends from around the globe. Every single week, we're here letting artists, producers, music enthusiasts, and content creators know what's happening within the music business because we feel that you can learn a thing or two and perhaps share and even share mm-hmm. with us your experience so that we could all learn. All right, so I was astounded by the following article. It blew me away. Okay, you know how forever we've been talking in our past episodes about the power of streaming services. Mm -hmm. There's more of these music companies that are coming up more than ever before, uh, but the artists are seeing the tiniest, teeniest portions. And so we're trying to figure out how did did that happen um, and who is allowing this to happen and what are the figures? Mm -hmm. It's hard to really do that when you think about it because we don't have the contracts in front of us uh, to kind of analyze how the money is flowing. Um, We do know that that Spotify, one of the biggest streaming services, has been forthcoming about how much they make in terms of the ad revenues. Mm -hmm. They have a... They have already indicated that they pay out uh, upwards of 80% of their revenues out to, you know, our three Mm -hmm. people that we talk about, labels, rights holders, publishers. Those folks Mm -hmm. get the lion's share, um, get that 80%. Um, And so Spotify forever has been arguing, look, we go and we paying out more than ever before. Don't come for us. Mm -hmm. We're not the culprit here. You need to figure out why is it that when we go and pay out that uh, the artist is getting the least amount? Well... We finally got hold of a contract. Evidently, Sony Music's contract with Spotify has been leaked. Oh, Travis. Yeah. Leaked. Oh, my God. This leaked. Okay, no, leaked. Okay. No, it's been totally leaked. So what what does that mean for us? Well, for the first time, we're able to see the math that was agreed upon, the negotiations that occurred between Mm -hmm. Sony Music, one of the biggest music labels in the world, and Spotify, one of the biggest streaming services Mm -hmm. in the world. Um, so when we come back, we're going to break down all the juicy little tidbits because I think there's some wonderful things you should learn um, and how it applies to house music. We'll talk about that in a minute right here on the Freedom Radio Radio Hour. Where? Capital Radio 91.6. Freedom Radio Hour. Live on Capital Radio 91.6 FM. What up, beautiful people, and welcome back. Capital Radio 91.6 FM, the heartbeat of Saddam. Boom, 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 boom. I'm Eddie Nicholas, and I'm here with the one and only Mr. Adam Cruz. We're live and direct right here on the Freedom Radio Hour, giving you that music business news and trends from around the globe. Ah, we got some juicy, juicy tidbits. Us uh, Puerto Ricans, we say we got some bochinche. Oh, I love it. Bochinche. Yeah, so I want to give you the the skinny of what's happening. Arroz Capoyo, was that it? (laughs) (laughs) Close. (laughs) <laughs> but listen, this is what happened. So now the the we always wanted to know what the math was, the, the contract mm-hmm. that exists between the biggest labels and Spotify, the biggest mm-hmm. streaming service. So now uh, a in this contract case we're talking about Sony. Yes, and this time in this case we are talking about Sony. Correct. Uh, this is now the first time we get to see this math. So here's the big thing. So what Spotify has agreed to do is they're paying Sony Music. Over the course of a few years, they've agreed to pay them between nine million and seventeen and a half million dollars per year. Is that cash or credit? I think it's both. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. So, uh, so Spotify can recoup this if it earns more than the advanced amount in a contract year, but these advance payments don't go to artists and they aren't treated as royalty revenue. So let me say that again. So this nine million to 17 and a half million that they're earning per year, uh, Spotify pays that to the label, to Sony, right? But Sony, they put that in their pot, the general pool. They're not paying that directly to the artist and they're not even treating that money as royalty revenue. What does that mean? They can't put that in the royalty cycle even. That's not for the artist, that's for their pot. They're saying it's not treated as royalty revenue. What do you think that means? We get what? Hmm. Pennies, of course. 
If any. But, but okay, but um, okay, okay. I know, I know. It's like <laughs> I know my head hurts. My head hurts already. So Spotify is the one who takes the money from the ad- advertisers. They make money from advertisements. advertisements. They make money from subscribers that pay their ten dollars a month. And then Sony, because they are using. Sony material as such as the way it did. Yeah, so music. like if mixtape sessions are label signed to Spotify, which we did, mm-hmm. our music is available through Spotify. We agree to have a deal with them, mm-hmm. right? But if we were a big muscle label like Sony, we you, would earn money off your advertisement. Well, not only that, they have a, the kind of contract where they pay an advance of nine million to seventeen and okay. a half million, or even to to mess with Sony. So now Sony gets that money. And they put it in their pool, in their company pool. They're, in other words, that they're not turning around to pay it to the artist. And they're not even treating it as royalty revenue. Mm-hmm. That's, In other words, they don't plan to pay mm-hmm. it. It's, their, there. It's, it's whatever they're, they're like their money off the top. They just earn exactly. it. Exactly. You, you want our services. You have our service. You have our Sony name. This is what you're paying for. That's it. Which was like, wow. And the other thing that, uh, that I want to make clear is that they have enforced a most favored nations clause. That's called an MFN. If you don't know what that means, it's basically if, I, if I'm Spotify and I make a deal with you, Eddie Records, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm paying you a dollar. Mm-hmm. You, you put in the contract that I can't turn to your friend or your sister and say, I can, I'll pay you a dollar fifty. Because I have to go back to you and say, you know, that dollar, I have to give you another 50 cents because you have a most favored nations clause in our contract. Mm -hmm. So I have to adhere to that. So that means that spells big money when you consider the competition out there. We're going to take another break. But when we come back, we're going to break down the juiciest tidbits yet to come regarding this leaked contract between Sony and Spotify right here. Where? Capital Radio 91.6 FM. The word is leaked. (laughs) Leaked. Freedom Radio Hour. And we're back. Capital Radio 91.6 FM, the heartbeat of Sedan. Boom, 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 boom. And my name is Eddie Nicholas, and I'm sitting here with my good friend, Mr. Adam Cruz. We're let's live and direct back. right here on the Freedom Radio Hour. Yes, let's get back to it. Uh, so we were breaking down the bochinche. That's oh, Spanish for it. the gossip mm, that we heard mm. regarding a leaked contract between Sony Music and Spotify. This represents the, the biggest streaming service and their deal with the arguably one of the biggest labels in the world. And this is the first time we ever have this math in front of us that we can analyze it tonight. Mm-hmm. All right, so why do you care about this? Why should this matter to someone in house music? Well, I think there's a few quick takeaways. One, you need to understand your contract. Mm-hmm. Not only do you need to understand your contract with the label, it behooves you to have a conversation with the label in light of the way the climate is regarding streaming to say, hey, label, what are your plans for streaming? What kind of deal have you struck with Spotify? Are you? Do you have the best interest in the artist in mind? Let's talk about and find a way you know. to get some money from that advertisement that's because being attached to your listen, music. Then there's got to be a better way for all of us to make some money. Mm-hmm. Well, let's let's break this down a little further. So before we broke, we were talking about how there was basically a deal made where Spotify pays Sony. Uh, between nine million and seventeen and a half mm-hmm. million dollars per year, that income is not even considered royalty revenue. So it's not money that goes to the artist, right? That's a big problem uh, for obvious reasons. But we're here to give you the information, okay? The other big, the other big thing that we noticed is that there's a deal between. Um, a Sony and Spotify where there's a most favored nations clause in place. So that means that Sony says if you're going to pay us $10 million and then you turn around and pay a competitor label $20 million, you need to come back to us and pay us the remaining $10 million because we have a most favored nations clause which says we're entitled to the same rate. Why? Because it basically protects the market share. We are talking about shareholders, aren't we? Mm-hmm. So that was another big takeaway. The other big thing was that uh, in credit, Spotify has uh, agreed to give Sony advertising space on their service. Now, when you're the biggest streaming service in the world, arguably, that amounts to $9 million in credit. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, okay, great. So now that's about $3 million a year when you consider a three-year deal. So now Sony, you think, would then use that advertisement for advertising their products, for artists, for music, for, well... What Sony has done is taken large chunks of that and they have turned it around and resold it because in the contract, they can do whatever they want with that ad space. It's it's given to them at a very extreme, extremely discounted rate. Uh, so in, in, in essence, what Sony has done is able to make a side business selling ads back 
to at a higher rate at a market mm-hmm. rate. So <laughs> it behooves labels, the biggest ones in the world now, to uh, to strike these kinds of deals because they can do whatever they want. Imagine miles, like if you have like frequent flyer miles and you can sell it at a higher rate and make some money. That's a business. Mm-hmm. So this is what this is what I'm getting. It's called to. flipping. Yes, it's straight <laughs> flipping. You know. And uh, what I really want to understand from this contract, the most biggest glaring thing is that for the longest time, you and I, Eddie, have been trying to figure out how is this to occur where you see music consumption at an all-time high, the downloads going down, and it Mm -hmm. will continue. You have music-specific companies that are sprouting up left and right. They all have a streaming model. They all want to take your money not once but every month through subscriptions, and they have a lot of advertisement dollars that are flowing back and forth. And how come all of this is happening off the backs of the content creators, yet we don't see anything but a fraction of a penny per stream? Why is that occurring? In the contract between Sony and Spotify, they have a little bump up that they're giving to us artists. According to the agreement, they go. Uh, Sony's in, will bump it up from 0.00225 to 0.0025, which is the tiniest little phrase. Can you imagine? And this is the thing that kills me. We were trying to figure out for the longest, how is this to happen? Why is it we're getting the, lo- the, the littlest money? Well, here's what we figured out. We went back to Spotify. Spotify keeps saying, don't come for us. We're paying 80% mm-hmm. of our revenues out. And you need to stop thinking that it's uh, we're the culprit here. The culprit is in the money after it leaves our hands. And after it leaves our hands, whatever happens to it, that's unbeknownst to us. So the bottom line, it boils down to the record label itself. It boils out to the record label, and I realize now that because the way the la- the record business is the way it is, that music uh, advertising giants like Google and Amazon and others like YouTube are able to con- uh, transform their business to include a music business, which is why we see YouTube Music Key, their subscription service that's come up now. You see all a lot of other companies that are sp- sprouting like Tidal, mm-hmm. um, and I think it's because they've realized that these advertisement companies can be a little music label too, because they realize that all that the all that we're experiencing is all that we're exp- experiencing now is what the label has been doing to the artists for decades, and that is putting you through a royalty cycle that g- ends up spitting out the littlest portion back to you, and all that the ab- and when you piece that together when you puzzle it together with the the muscle that is advertising Mm -hmm. dollars and subscription businesses that's a large amount of money so all they had to do was add a little more arm to it a little music arm it's just one piece of the pie because you're going to come for the music because the music is provided for you for free right. and at the same time when you come to listen to whatever music you want to listen to we can shoot you with our advertisements and then the whole reason why i'm thinking okay so here's here's some of the things that we're uh speculating this is occurring because the evidence is there you know but the other problem too is how is it this how is this going to continue as a business oh let's look five years down the line <laughs> how are artists still going to be able to make music if we're getting the teeniest tiniest portion well Hopefully not five years from now, but as we are doing this show, people are becoming astute to find a way how they can attach themselves to get those advertising yeah. dollars. When you sit down, especially if you're on a label like Sony, as an artist, you can look at a contract and renegotiate that contract and get that, what did you call it, the MFL? Uh, yeah, S- most favored <laughs> nations clause. You can see if you can, how you can include that in your contract where you are earning money straight from the top. Right. And... Legally, it can be done, and that's your music. And now that we have all this information, is now how can we, as artists or lay people, find a way to attach ourselves to those dollars that are straight off the cut off the top? I agree with that too. I just I feel like at least we're getting some sort of information about this, and we're starting to at least piece the puzzle together. Thank you so much for tuning into the Freedom Radio Hour. Your host, DJ Adam Cruz and Eddie Nicholas. Here every single week at our very same time. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great weekend. Great weekend. But before yes. we leave, make sure you check out EddieNicholas.com, a brand new single name. One time, yours truly, Adam Cruz with the Freedom LP. And of course, go to DJAdamCruz.com and the FreedomRadioHour.com and post under everything that we're posting because we want to hear from you. You know? Peace out. Capital Radio 91.6 FM. Peace out.